Inclusive, my wonderful people. Malami Bawa, others associated, associates of Buhari, backing terror linked minister Isiak Pantami, I mean, demanding controversies, deeming controversies going on uh, right now. It, it is very, very shocking that your Attorney General of the Federation, Abubakar Malami, the EFCC boss, Bawa, who Malami uh, appointed by the way, and others are, you know, are still that are associated to President Muhammad Buhari, are very much, you know, uh, 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 very much backing, you know, Isiak Pantami and means the deeming controversies linking him to terror because this guy was once in the news. Well, fresh evidence have come out, they are trying to cover for the minister. So in case you are not aware, Isiak Pantami is a man who, when he was in the UK, in fact, the government were watching him. You know, the government were watching him and wondering, you know, what he was up to. These are the kind of people that we are seeing today, you know. So Nigerians, it is time for every one of us to understand that we are at a crossroad to bring some of this um, evil terrain to come to an end by choosing in the right candidate to get to the position of leadership. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe as we get all the details. Exclusive Malami Bawa orders associates of President Muhammad Buhari backing terror link Minister Isiak Pantami Amin, Amin's deeming controversies. Pantami had in the past begged that he would not be investigated because of his closeness to those who have Pantami has in the past bragged that he will not be investigated because of the closeness to those who have the ears of the president. The Attorney General of the Federation, Abuba Kamalami, Chairman of the Economic and Financial Crime Commission, Abdurazit Bawa, President Muhammad Buhari, Personal Assistant, Shabil Yusuf Tunde have been identified as the backers of the Minister of Communication and Digital Economy, Isiak Pantami, amidst the main controversies surrounding him. Some reporters gathered that Pantami had in the past bragged that he will not be investigated because of his closeness to these people. Others are former EFCC boss Nuru Rabdu and Senate, Senate President Hamed Lawa. Recall that Pantami making noise about the fail, failure of TSA Treasure Single Account months back. What people did not know is that we were paid money by the nigerian communication commission for the frequency for the frequency so pantami does not want the money in the tsb and he has created bogle project and brought his friends to the organization to oversee so that the making of the funds can continue it is unfortunate that the president is being deceived with fake issues and, and that's why the md and others of nigerian communication satellite dr abiola ali was happy to be leaving as she was scared of the level of the of his of the conniving and corruption going on a top source in the ministry in the ministry of communication and digital economy to saha reporters Below are some of the projects that helped him loot the, his way to paying the cabal members in the villa and the Senate to Buduza his way with any document he wants. Bauer of EFCC uh, also had his brother recruited by Pantami, so he has been compensated and compromised. Ahmed Lawa, the Senate president, also so soon to be former Senate president, has constantly has consequently used the MDAs to pay for his assets, especially the assets seized by EFCC, which he and Malami wants to buy, and also has his son recruited into one of the MDAs under Pantami. Tunde is the is the master and godfather of Pantami. Pantami takes almost all proceeds he has looted from the MDs to give him 
all his papers signed to get his papers signed from the president without questions being asked. So this is what is going on. Abubakar Malami, you know, I mean, the, the corruption in Buhari's administration is beyond words can describe. In, in a good luck ability time, it was known everybody was benefiting for it for those that were involved. You know, the leech, the common man, yeah, could, you could say was getting something out of it. But currently, right now, what we see is a different ball game altogether. Really, sincerely speaking, it's a different ball game altogether because these people, the current set of people that are there, you know, these ones are not. Uh, it's a private looting, so it does not spread to the people. It's just within a circle. Okay, the loot of what is going on now is just within a circle. This is what is happening, and this is why you must you we, you must ensure that we do not allow these things to go on. You know, we must not allow these things to happen. Every one of us must continue to do what is necessary and right. Every one of us must do everything that we need to do to get Nigeria to where it ought to be. Because if we continue and we keep quiet and we do not see anything, these persons will destroy this nation in no small way. And sincerely speaking, to a large extent, they are getting away with it. They are getting away with it. Eh? You see, they, for AFCC, they'll be chasing people, but they know how they settle their matter. Eh? What kind of country is this? No law and order, no orderliness. Some persons will do the wrong thing and get away with it. Why some other people will die for the same thing in the same country, in the same country. It's not, uh, it's not the same, it's not the same, uh, you know, there is no same punishment for, for the same crime. No, the degrees and the levels are different. Why some people do some things and they say, well done, you have done way. For something that is wrong, some other people do it and they, and they cannot live to tell the story. That's Nigeria for you. That's why there is so much injustice and the cry, you know, for, for change is, is eminent. Everyone is saying we are tired. We want change. But again, are we really ready for the change? Are we sincerely ready? Are we truly sincerely ready? Or we are just there, we, we don't even know what we want. These people are destroying the very fabric of this nation. But those that should speak sadly are not. They keep quiet and they watch them continue to destroy that which belongs to every single one of us. The days upon us are days where Nigerians we cannot afford. Okay? These people go to Buhari. Sometimes you just when you hear Buhari, you'll be wondering, is it was it even capable in the first place? Did we know who we were voting for? Did we really have a clue what we were doing? Did we really have a clue what was going on? Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like or share, subscribe. Bye for now.